Hallelujah. St. Matthew, the eighth chapter. Glory to God. Amen. The Gospel according to Matthew, chapter number eight. We're going to begin in verse number one, and we're going to go down through four. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Let us stand as we read the word. <clears throat> I'll be reading from the New King James Version, so it will be a little bit different from your Bible. When he had come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. And behold, a leper came and worshipped him saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus put forth, put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing. Be cleansed. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. And Jesus said to him, see that you Tell no one, but go your way, show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded as a testimony to them. Amen. Thank God for the reading of his word. This morning, I want to talk to you real quick from this subject, be clean from the inside out. Come on. Amen. Amen. Can I say it again? Be cleaned from the inside out. My Glory day. to God. Hallelujah. Amen. In today's church, we rarely hear any preaching or teaching on being clean in this dirty world. Yes. Amen. My brothers and sisters, I submit to you this morning that our bad attitudes, our sinful actions and gross neglect of God's holy word has invited all sorts of foul spirits in our lives. Yeah. And consequently, we are unclean in the eyes of almighty God. Mm -hmm. yes. I want you to think for a moment with me and, and look at how we are living our lives mm -hmm. before a dying world. Yes. But most of all, before a holy God. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. The Apostle Paul tells us in Ephesians chapter 5, verses 25 through 27, he says, Husbands, mm -hmm. love your wives. Mm -hmm. Even as Christ also loved the church yeah. uh -huh. and gave himself for it. Mm -hmm. Here's what I love. That he may sanctify and cleanse it mm -hmm. with the washing of water by the word. Mm -hmm. That he might present it to himself a glorious church. Mm -hmm. Not having spot or wrinkle on any such thing, but that it should be holy without blemish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the word of God. So why is it that we feel that we can do anything, hmm. live any kind of way, do what we want to do, when we want to do, mm -hmm. and expect for God to, do to help us? Hmm. Come on, come on. <laughs> come on now. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. My brothers and sisters, without fail, we must strive to live a clean life before a dying world. Yes, yes. God commanded his people over in Leviticus 10 and 10 uh, uh, that ye may put difference between holy and unholy mm -hmm. and between unclean and clean. Mm -hmm. This has nothing to do with your denomination. Yes, that's right. It has nothing to do with your creed. God said, be clean. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. If there was ever a time that we needed to be clean, it yes. is now. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. The world do not see for perhaps a handful of Christians who are really living this 
next life. Amen. Because so many of us are defiled. So many of us just, just out there. So many of us do not want to be clean. Amen. Wow. It's true. Hallelujah. Amen. It's so, so I'm talking about being clean from the inside out. out. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. The notion that we can do, go and say anything we want, is mind boggling. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This Christian walk requires a change in your mind. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. A change in your character. Yes, it does. And conduct. Yes. That will be pleasing. To God. Yes. Mm -hmm. If I'm not pleasing God, why am I here? Amen. I don't have time to try to impress no brothers mm -hmm. or sisters. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to end up in a devil's hell Come on. trying to impress folk that don't even like me. Come on. Right. Right. Trying to impress folk that are jealous of me. Come on. Mm -hmm. Trying to impress those who think they got it all together and don't know nothing. My God. You're right. Hallelujah. You nor I cannot cleanse ourselves mm -hmm. no matter what. Mm -hmm. Because the prophet Isaiah tells us in chapter 64 in verse 6, but we are all as an unclean thing. Watch this. Mm -hmm. And all our righteousness is our as filthy rags. I don't care how long you've been saved. Mm -hmm. You ain't true. got that yet. That's true. <laughs> you can speak in all the tongues you want to. Amen. You can run around the church. You can lift your hands. You can do all of the antics. Mm -hmm. But your righteousness is still as a filthy rag. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. And we all do fade as a leaf. Yeah. We don't have time to remain dirty. That's right. Amen. You're right. We don't have time to remain filthy. Mm -hmm. We don't have time any longer to be unclean mm -hmm. because the days are getting more evil. Yes, they are. Every day we Every live day. is getting more yes. evil. Yes, it there is. is more killings mm -hmm. now yes. than seem to have been in the history of mankind. Yes. You're right about it. You're right. Every day you turn on the news, yep. somebody, somebody has got murdered, a house blew up, yep. Yep. something yep. has happened yep. to yep. humanity. Yep. That's true. Yep. Hallelujah. And you yep. got time. To shuck and jive oh God, and play in the house of God. Mm -hmm. You got time to live your life like you think you want to mm -hmm. and expect the Holy God to receive you. Uh, on, Hallelujah. Yeah. Talking about being clean mm -hmm. from the inside yes. out. Mm -hmm. We need the Lord to cleanse us from the inside out. Mm. out. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We don't know mm -mm. what folks are going through, what they think. Right. We don't know. We don't know. But God, God does. Yes, Amen. God is deeply concerned about the inside mm -hmm. more than the outside of you and I. Mm -hmm. He tells us in his word in 1 Samuel 16, chapter 16, verse 7, the B clause. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. Mm -hmm. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. Yes. Amen. God knows everything about you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God knows everything about your enemies. Yes. Yes. Your friends, your foes. God knows. Yes, he does. Amen. You don't know. <laughs> to you, they're your friends. Mm -hmm. To you, they look good. Mm -hmm. They sound good. Mm -hmm. But many people that come to the church have mastered the dress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They've mastered mm -hmm. the tongues. Mm -hmm. They've mastered the dance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have mastered amen. Uh -huh. <laughs> they even mastered giving. Uh -huh. But they have a file or an unclean spirit within themselves yes. which can show up in the natural of the individual. Mm -hmm. 
Case in point, Jesus told a lady, woman, thou art loose. Uh -huh. <laughs> Watch them. What they got to do? Watch this. She had been bound with that infirmity for a long time. Yes. Satan thought she would remain in that condition for the rest of her life, but when the master showed up, mm -hmm. everything changed yes. in her yes. life. Yes. Unclean and foul spirits have been around for ages, mm -hmm. and they prey upon God's creation, especially humans, to antagonize us, to confuse us, to disrupt us, to torment us, and ultimately to destroy us. So it behooves us to be clean on the inside. Hallelujah. None of us know our final day on this earth. Hallelujah. And, 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 and we cannot be trying to get ready. Mm -hmm. We got to be ready. Mm -hmm. Amen. Why? Because he says he's coming for a church without a spot or wrinkle. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It behooves us to be clean. God, God, God. Wait a minute. Hold on. Before God. You yourself don't want to eat out of a dirty dish. True. Can I get a witness? Amen. Hallelujah. How would you like to go to the restaurant and they bring you a glass that has maggots and everything rolling on the glass? Uh, no. Dirt. Huh? No, and they tell you to drink out of it. Uh -uh. The water going to taste good. Drink it. Uh -uh. That's okay. So why do you think that God would want to use us? Mm. When we got right. these maggots in our souls, come, right. on, come on, come on. We got this foul living. Man. When we do not accept the work of Jesus Christ that he died on the cross for us on the yeah. inside, it's time out for looking safe. Yes. Glory. Mm. It's time out yeah. for us talking about being Christians. We need to be clean on the inside so God yeah. can use us. For his glory. Yes. Hallelujah. You can't cast no devil out sleeping with the devil. Huh. Hallelujah. You going to the club. Now you trying to reach people to come out of that devil's den. And you in there getting it. <laughs> getting down with them. No. You just as dirty, dirty as, they are. as they are. Lord. Have mercy. So when Adam and Eve had fallen from grace, mm -hmm. they did not understand or know what they had released upon humanity. Mm -hmm. Listen, Satan waited and baited the first human beings to gain control over humanity mm -hmm. by unleashing all sorts of evil mm -hmm. in the earth. Mm -hmm. Here's what he released. He released sickness, yeah. disease, uh -huh. death, uh -huh. nakedness, mm -hmm. curse, mm -hmm. thorns, and sweat. Mm -hmm. They all came from Satan yes. and was thrust upon all mankind, not just a few, mm -hmm. but the same two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because we humans, too. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Amen. We must endure this human life. Yeah. But the difference between us is that we are clean on the inside. Yeah. We can endure because the Lord has fortified us to endure the attacks of Satan on our lives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He didn't say you wouldn't be attacked. That's why he said put on the whole arm that he may be able to stand against the wiles or the schemes, the tricks, the gimmicks of Satan. The reason why we keep falling is because we're not protected with the honor. Yes, yes. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. And so, in our text this morning, we find a very uplifting and encouraging story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm that we all can learn from and be changed forever. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean forever. Mm 
We find Jesus coming down from the mountain after teaching the multitudes various lessons. And when he finished, that same crowd followed him. <laughs> they followed him because they were astonished at his teaching. Mm -hmm. Amen. Can I park right here for a moment? Mm -hmm. No one has ever taught like Jesus. He was such a strong teacher that many deny his many who deny his deity still commit their lives to the ministry of his teaching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why people say I got a little Jesus. Mm -hmm. They take or they pick and choose what they want about the Lord. Uh -huh. And they commit to that. Mm -hmm. Even though they don't believe there is a Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Even though they don't believe he is God Almighty. Mm -hmm. But for those who believe that Jesus is truly the Son of God, to them there is no one who compares to Jesus as a person or a teacher. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Y'all, Jesus' teaching was something else. It blew folk out the water. Let's, let's talk about it. The impact of Jesus' teaching is stated. The people were astonished. That is, they were amazed. The master was compelled to preach and teach no matter who the audience was. That's true. Mm -hmm. He didn't care if it was two. If it were one, <laughs> he gave Nicodemus a class by himself. Mm -hmm. wow. Hallelujah. Amen. And, 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 and Jesus was good. He was so good at it. Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. So it didn't matter who the audience was. He reached out to everyone who would listen. Mm -hmm. Jesus was so dynamic in his teaching and preaching that every minister in the world should strive to be exactly like him and not copy others. But follow the example of Jesus. We got too many folk that want to be like Bishop T.D. Jackson. Too many folk want to be like Prophetess One Nita Byron. Too many folk want to be like this, that, and the other preacher. Mm -hmm. And nobody's ever said, I want to preach it and teach it like yeah, Jesus. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. All right, now. Glory to God. So again, the multitudes of people were astonished. Mm -hmm. But I want you to take note of this. Those astonished were not the religionists, not the wealthy, wealthy, and not the ruling class, but the common people. Mm -hmm. Why? Because too often those with wealth and influence feel threatened by Christ. Mm -hmm. They fear <laughs> that discipleship may cost them something. Mm -hmm. And it will, mm -hmm. because Jesus Christ demands all that a person is and all that a person has. Mm -hmm. Lord, have mercy. He requires time. Yes. He, he, he requires your allegiance. Mm -hmm. He requires your obedience. Mm -hmm. He requires you to give. Yeah. He requires, and, and, and because you're rich and you got influence, you don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they, they were like, mm, no, I ain't got time for him. And people still think the same way today. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know y'all don't believe me. You're right. If I thought about this, if the Lord were to snatch all of the money from the wealthy, how would they live? Mm -hmm. What would they do? <laughs> if 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 you had twenty million dollars in the bank and you woke up the next day and it's down to fifteen ninety five, I could just see the breath coming out of it. <sighs> Blowing out their brains. Doing all sorts of things. 
trying to figure out where they money. Yeah. This before. Who has who has attacked us and took my money? Mm -hmm. What cyber thief did this? Mm -hmm. Amen. But they will go stir crazy because of their trust and love for their money. Mm -hmm. And they don't realize that when they come down to die, their money cannot go. Mm -hmm. right. Lord have mercy. Amen. For the Bible says, for the love of money mm -hmm. is the root of all evil. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, folk ain't killing folk just to be killing. Mm -hmm. 99% of them are doing it to get paid. Yeah. Amen. Case in point, that young man who was shot and killed on I-35, right. right on the freeway, broad daylight, $100,000 on his head. Mm -hmm. And the kid that shot him, bragged about it, got paid like a fool, went out on Facebook and told everybody and counted his money. You big dummy. They got it. Now you in jail. Mm -hmm. Yep. For the love of money. You took this man away from his family. Mm -hmm. And now you sitting in a jail and you go rock there. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. And so, I want to tell you, the reason the people were amazed is that Jesus taught with authority. Mm -hmm. yes. He spoke with a tone that sounded authoritarian. Author, a tone of authority. Shall I put it like that? <laughs> he spoke as the true Messiah. A person who had the right to dictate laws mm -hmm. and give commandments and expect obedience. Mm -hmm. He spoke in the power of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. As he spoke the Spirit of God moved in the hearts of those who believed in him to be the Messiah. When Christ teaches, there is always an attraction. <laughs> Anytime Jesus has something to say, it drew a crowd. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. It wasn't like an advertisement. Mm -hmm. yeah. Come here, Jesus, speak. They didn't plaster it all over the nation. They didn't send out horsemen and, 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 and people to say, oh, he's over in Galilee tonight, y'all. Come on, meet him. No. When he spoke and rang out in the region, yes. demons had to take notice. Mm -hmm. Religious leaders took notice. Mm -hmm. When he taught the people, it was nothing like the scribes and the Pharisees. Yeah. <laughs> Because they were in contrast to Jesus. Mm -hmm. The scribe did not speak or teach with authority. Mm -hmm. And this was unusual because mm -hmm. they had as much authority back in them mm -hmm. as any group of teachers in history. Mm -hmm. The scribes knew the book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The scribes knew how to arrange it the way it was supposed to be arranged. Mm -hmm. They knew the letter from A to Z. Mm -hmm. But they couldn't teach it mm -hmm. like Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because they weren't clean on the inside. Come on. Hallelujah. They were not clean on the inside. Mm -hmm. They had to know and understand that Jesus just didn't pop up. He wrote the word. Mm -hmm. And he lived the word. So it was easy for him to teach. Mm -hmm. Because he had the authority to teach what he already wrote. <laughs> Lord, y'all pray for me. I'm getting excited. Hallelujah. So, they not only had the Holy Scriptures, but they also had the oral traditions and the influence of their religion and their personal commitment to their religion. Mm -hmm. Scribes, Pharisees held to the law. Mm -hmm. Nothing was going to pull them away from it. Mm -hmm. This is the book. There's no if and buts about it. Mm -hmm. We're not going to leave this. Mm -hmm. I don't care who come on the scene. And here's the one who wrote the book is on the scene. They're too blind. 
and too dirty on the inside to see who he was. Mm. Now, isn't this amazing? How many times have you read in the word that demons recognize Jesus? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Isn't that right? Yeah. And here we got some silly men called themselves leaders mm -hmm. didn't even know who he was. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they were filthy mm -hmm. on the inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All they wanted was money, mm -hmm. power, and prestige. Mm -hmm. Just like a lot of preachers today. today. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. Preachers are preaching what they want to preach. Mm -hmm. They want to give out their own interpretation of the word of God mm -hmm. and make it sound good. Mm -hmm. Come on te television mm -hmm. and beg you for some money to help them stay on TV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord Jesus. Right. Can I say it, Lord? Yeah. I think, or oh, I believe, that if God puts you on TV, yeah. mm -hmm. he's going to provide a way yeah, for you will. to stay there. Yeah, he will. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. You got to beg. You come on begging, you beg in the middle of the service, and then you beg at the end. <laughs> Y'all don't like me this morning. Amen. Now, these scribes, they were always calling upon other authorities, mm -hmm. always referring to the source of their statements. Mm -hmm. This tended to lose mm -hmm. their audiences. Mm -hmm. Amen. Have you ever heard somebody lecture and they quote from so and so, so and so? The people you think will be credible, but they're really not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they seldom elaborated or illustrated anything. Mm -hmm. This made the messages or lessons flat, mm -hmm. it made it dull and uninteresting. I don't care what nobody say. Mm -hmm. You cannot be a boring preacher. Yes, amen. The word of God is too exciting. It is too good for people to sit in the church and nod out and go to sleep. <laughs> Hallelujah. I understand people that work at night. I, I get it. But most of us do, don't work at night. Amen. We've been to bed since 7 30 last night, and you still come to the house of God and you get more sleep in church than you get at home. Come on, <laughs> Hallelujah. The preacher called himself preaching his heart out. Mm -hmm. And you up there snoring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. So as he, Jesus, and the multitudes came down the mountain. Mm -hmm. Here comes a leper. Mm -hmm. Lord. Now, I, we just talked about mm -hmm. him teaching and how they were astonished at, yeah. at his yeah. teaching. Mm -hmm. All, the, the multitude, that's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. Now, this didn't make sense to me. You got all these people, and then there's a leper shows up. And he gets to Jesus. Mm -hmm. First of all, he wasn't supposed to be in the city. <laughs> Amen. He was defied. He should have never been able to get that close to Jesus. Mm -hmm. According to the uh, Mosaic law. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something about this leper. I like it. I like it. But before we get deeper into him, let's talk about the, his disease. Lepers.